Hello, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. As you can see, I've already had a productive morning this morning. I wiped down all my counters. I have a load of laundry going, and I also have Narwhal vacuuming and mopping my floors. So, I just wanna say, everyone asks about the Narwhal. The best price is on Amazon. I'm linking it below. I think it's on sale right now. I'm going to link our exact model because I'm telling you when we got the second dog is when we got this it has been a game changer it does such a good job on my floors I am obsessed with it it has saved me immense amounts of time and it's probably the best thing I've bought in the last two years if you have pets if you just don't have time to do your floors all the time. I run it one full cycle once a week and then I spot use it for the rest of the days if I need it. Like the other day I spilled something over by the coffee bar and I used it to spot clean it up. It did an amazing job. Amazing. So I'm gonna have it run. It'll do my carpets, my rugs, my hardwoods, all the things. A couple tricks though. I like to run it when I'm home so I can empty the dustbin a lot, so I could do something else while I'm doing it. I always dust, wipe down counters, things like that. But this is the only rug I have trouble with, and I think it's because it's an oval, and I've never gotten the rug to lay completely flat. I should just tape it down, but I don't want to do that on my hardwood floors. So I do rig up these chairs and roll up the rug, and it... it works perfectly but like all my other rugs there are no problems 
It just happens to be this oval one in the entryway. But look, it goes under my furniture. It does everything. I made myself a cup of tea. I need to catch up on a couple work emails. I unloaded and loaded the dishwasher. I have a load of laundry in. It's been a productive morning and it's only 5.35. So my main floors are, look how shiny they are. My main floors are all done. And now it's just doing the mud room, the Peloton room, and the powder room. I think it's in there. Oh wait, it's right there. It's in the Peloton room. Having it do those floors, I have been just like guzzling water and tea um, and blowing my nose. And then I was cuddling with this guy. I was cuddling with this guy. Steven will be home today. He went to Utah for the weekend. I mean, these two have the life. This floral arrangement is so beautiful. But yeah, they're just lounged out on the couch. The only thing I have left to do is I wanna wipe down the appliances really quick. And then I am all set. So last night I went digging in my basement because I knew I had glass icicles. I know you can buy the plastic ones at any store. The glass ones are not that much more expensive and they glisten so much better without the use of glitter that I highly recommend. I got these on Amazon a few years ago. I found the link for you so I've added them, but I added them here. They're like the last piece of jewelry. <laughs> and then I have them hanging within this and then even on the window. I added them in there. It's just like the final finishing glistening touch. It also adds a little bit of movement to the tree. I am going to start getting ready as soon as I can fold this last load of laundry because I want to run to Target and perhaps Trader Joe's before my haircut, which is at nine o'clock. So, got a lot to do. I am getting ready to go. I'm just wearing one of my favorite sweaters. It's the Easy Street Tunic from Free People. It's so soft. I think it is on sale right now. Um, and then just some joggers and a pair of Nikes. I'm just the 4 a.m. wake up and being so productive while wow, beneficial hitting me right now. But going to get moving. I am back. I had a hat on. I am not feeling great. So I'm going to... I don't look great either. I'm going to get my groceries put away. I picked up like the last couple things I needed. And yeah, I'm gonna rest and chill out for a minute. Okay friends, I woke up from a very long nap, but I have to get my stuff for the cookie exchange made. So I have one and a half cups of butter and one and a half cups of light brown sugar. I'm gonna get it all melted, bring it to a boil for three minutes. I set my oven preheating to 400 degrees. On here is a foil lined, heavily sprayed cookie sheet and layered with saltines. This took two packages and like five more crackers from another package. Once it starts fully boiling, you don't want to stir it. But right now it's okay to stir to get your butter all broken up. So once that now boils for about three minutes, I'm gonna wait till it boils a little bit more to start my timer. I'm gonna pour it over here. Some of them might float, that's okay. Just try to keep it as even as possible. I'll throw it in the oven for four to five minutes till it's bubbling. And then I'll pull it out of the oven. I'll turn off my oven, sprinkle with chocolate chips, but then stick it back in my oven for about two minutes and then take it up and then we'll smooth out the chocolate layer on top. But it's really that easy. So our three minutes is almost up. You can see how beautifully brown it's now getting. It smells so good. Like I said, this is a time you don't want to stir it. You just want it to, to bubble. Please, please, please be careful with this as it is super hot. Now, 
I do take my spatula before I put it in the oven and just even out my layers a little bit more. All right, this is going into the oven for five minutes. I believe strongly in using good chocolate. So I have two bags of Ghirardelli. I'll need probably about a bag and a half because I did my large cookie tray. If you're doing like a regular size cookie tray, you'll get away with just one. But that's ready to go. Also, when I was out shopping, Wegmans had these beautiful containers for me to take my cookies in for $6.99. All right, I'm gonna put this back in my oven for two minutes. All right, goal now is to beautifully spread the chocolate. Ugh. So the two minutes in the oven is what makes the difference. Some people, some recipes might ask you to just like let it sit, but two minutes in the oven just allows it to get so smooth and it allows the crackers to settle a bit, which is also very helpful. Okay. And if it's not entirely covered, once again, that's a-okay. They're all gonna get broken up anyway. everything. And now, while that is still good, now I just top it with pecans. Now I always give them just a little press into the chocolate. That way they really stick. Now I'm gonna pop this in our fridge in the garage and let it chill. Hey friends, I am feeling it today, but we are going to make some soup to make us feel better. So in my heavy La Crusade Dutch oven, I'm going to add my salad, cellar, I said cellars, because I combined carrots and celery. Putting in them first because they will take the longest to cook. Now that those, these have been going for a few minutes, just to get a little bit of a head start, they will obviously cook a lot more. I am going to add, this is like two and a half small shallots in my favorite chopper. Everyone knows about this chopper. It is literally my favorite thing. I've had the same one since we lived in Charlotte. I'm gonna have this go until all my onions get translucent. And then I like a lot of lemon flavor to my chicken noodle soup. So at this point I add the zest of a lemon. And then at the end when the broth is in, I add the juice of one lemon. All about layers of seasoning and that each step does not go without seasoning. So I'm 
just gonna let these vegetables cook down and soften a bit. I did my carrots on my, like a two setting on a mandolin, just so they're nice and even. My mother hates cooked celery. So this is not a soup that she would enjoy because I did more celery than usual. Mm, you can smell that lemon zest in this. Then my go-to chicken broth is Kettle and Fire. If you've not tried it, it's really, really good. Has no preservatives in it, fully organic. I buy mine at Whole Foods, but I've seen it at Wegmans. Not all the time, but once in a while I have caught it there. I'm just gonna let these cook a little bit more. Then we will add our broth, our shredded chicken, and then lastly our egg noodles. Soup is so easy and is exactly what I need right now. I just added the juice of my lemon. It also gives the broth such a beautiful golden color, but this looks so good. Also, Steven is now home from Utah. What was the temperature there? In, U in Salt Lake City? Yeah. Um, I think it was like in the 40s. Tell them why. I wanted to upgrade our Delta medallion status. Of course. So, there's that. All right, this is done. We're going to eat dinner, and then I can use this for lunch. Oh my goodness, so. Steven has a Christmas story going, so we're probably gonna watch that. <laughs> Oi. Um, and I thought I would just finish editing and realize we didn't open up advent calendars, so we're gonna do that now. All right, day 17. <gasps> it's the pickle ornament. That's very cute. Day 17 of our book. It's a winter reading bingo card. Oh, I love that. I might really play that. Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love, pour some sugar on me. What did we get today? Ooh, I think those are bananas. Ugh. I hate, yeah, I will not be eating those. I hate banana flavored anything. It reminds me of a medicine my mom used to give me when I was little. I just can't do like banana runts, any banana flavored anything, popsicles, grosses me out. Who else hates banana? But I love bananas. We got a hair oil by Larry King. Oh, I can gift these to someone. They're two really beautiful barrettes. You could tell they're super high quality. I'm gonna gift this to someone. That's an amazing, amazing gift. All right. Advent calendars are done. And so is day 17 of Vlogmas. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.